Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about relative extrema. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, y equals a negative one-fifth times x minus four to the five-thirds power minus two times x minus four to the two-thirds power. And we need to find the points of relative minima and maxima. Well, the first thing I want to do is find the derivative here, and it's a little tricky one. This takes some time. Let's use our power rule. So I'm going to negative one fifth is out here. Power rule five thirds comes down. So multiply that by five thirds. Keep the inside x minus four. Subtract the exponent by one. And five thirds minus one is a two thirds. Multiply that by the derivative of the inside, which is one. Now, and then that's power rule and chain rule. Two stays out here. Bring down the exponent. Two thirds. Inside stays the same, x minus 4, exponent subtract by 1, 2 thirds minus 1 is a negative 1 third, the derivative of the inside is just 1. All right, so let's go clean this up. f prime of x here, well, 5's cancel, that's lovely. We have a negative up top, and that's, uh, yeah, negative 1, so we have a negative, and we have the x minus 4 to the 2 thirds power left over, that's a 2 thirds, not 3 halves, 2 thirds power over our denominator, which is just three. We subtract here, simplify this out, two times two is that four, okay? So two times two is the four in the numerator. Denominator is still that three, and we bring down this x minus four down here, x minus four to the one-third power. And notice I'm gonna leave it as one-third power because I find it easier to connect these two like that instead of making that cube root. We need to find a common denominator here. So if I rewrite this, f prime of x, and notice if we just take this denominator and multiply it by the x minus four to the one third power, we would have the same denominator and we can combine it. So we're gonna do that. We have negative x minus four to the two thirds power over three. And we're gonna multiply it by this part right here, x minus four to the one third power over itself. And then, so rewrite this part here, four over three x minus four to the one third power. From there, let's go simplify. Oh, lovely work coming out here. The numerator, well, we have two thirds power and one third power, multiply them, we add the exponent, which is the power of one. So we have a negative x just minus four to the first power here, and then we have a minus four that comes in all over the shared denominator of three, x minus four to the one third power, okay? Simplifying that over here, we'll just read the negative sign here, that becomes a negative from the x, and then this becomes a positive on the four. And so four minus four is just zero, so we have a negative x going on here, and the denominator I'm gonna write as three times now the third root of an x minus four. So we found our first derivative right there. So what we want to do is find our critical points. We're going to set the numerator and denominator equal to zero. So we have a negative x here equals zero and a three third root of x minus four equals zero. Divide both sides by negative one, x equals zero. Luckily for us, when it's equal to zero, it becomes pretty easy. Divide both sides by three, we have a zero. Third power of both sides is still zero, so we have x minus four equals zero, and x equals a positive four there. So we have our two critical values here. We need to use our first derivative test here. So values at zero and four, and let's go apply it. I picked a value that was less than zero, negative one. So I find f prime of negative one. Again, we're plugging this into our derivative that we found. And I got a negative 0 0.1949. I just care that it's negative, and so we are decreasing there. From zero to four, I picked one as my value, f prime of one. Plugged one into my derivative, and I got a 0 0.23112. I just care that it's positive, and so we're increasing on that interval. A value that's larger than four, I picked five, so we have f prime of five here, and that came out to be a negative 1.6 repeating. It's just negative, and so we're decreasing. And again, we only care if it's positive or negative here. 
So if a function is decreasing then increasing, we have a relative minimum going on there. If the function is increasing to then decreasing, we have a relative max going on right there. Okay? So now we want to label it here. We have a relative minimum. We want to find the coordinate point where that happens, our x value is 0, and we plug 0 into our original function. It's kind of tricky, but it comes out to be the y value of a negative 12 third root of 2 over 5. And the relative max value, or maximum, 4 goes into our original function, and the output comes out to just be 0. And so again, these are coordinate points there for the relative min and max. So our final answer here is that relative minimum happens at the coordinate point 0, comma, negative 12 cube root of 2 over 5. And the relative maxima happens at 4, comma, 0. Hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.